you know, voting for Judge Amy Coney Barrett to become an Associate Justice on the Supreme Court was not just historic for me. It was my obligation to the people of North Dakota, as well as a high personal honor. You know, just over two years ago, I was engaged in another historic fight, a battle, for the seat that I now hold. When late in the campaign, the Democratic incumbent I was running against chose to engage in the smear campaign against another outstanding American jurist and decided to vote against the confirmation of Brett Kavanaugh. Well, that week, that very week, my opponent raised nearly three times more money than I spent in the entire campaign that week. And the Supreme Court became the number one issue in the race. So to somehow suggest, there's no way, no way I would or could suggest that this vote would be delayed. Because to do so, to somehow wait until after the election, when people from someplace other than North Dakota might be tempted to elect a president other than, other than Donald Trump, to nominate a jurist other than, well, let's just say, the nearly perfect Amy Coney Barrett to be a Supreme Court justice, would rightly anger the people of North Dakota and do great damage to my conscience. This is a great night.